What's up guys, Miles here with 9to5Mac, and the BenQ PD3220U is a fantastic display from BenQ's design series. It's got Thunderbolt 3 connectivity, an amazing design and build, and fantastic features for video editors and graphic designers. So let's check it out. So for starters, it's coming in at a resolution of 3840 by 2160 p so it's UHD 4K. It's got a 10-bit IPS panel with a five millisecond response time, a max refresh rate of 60 hertz, and a maximum brightness of 350 nits. It's got support for 100% of the sRGB, Adobe RGB, and Rec. 709 gamuts, as well as support for up to 96% of the DCI-P3 color gamut. It's also got HDR10 compatibility and is driven by BenQ's AQ color technology. And in case you can tell already, it's a matte display. Starting off with the design, it's probably my favorite feature compared to the 27-inch version of this monitor, the PD2720U that I also reviewed on the channel. It's got extremely thin bezels all the way around and overall has a very minimal but very premium design and I like the way it looks on my setup. And it definitely screams that a thousand plus dollar price point. The monitor is on the thicker side, but that's mostly because the monitor has an internal power supply. So you don't need a huge brick power cable like a lot of other thin monitors have comparatively. And comparing the build quality to something like the Ultrafine 5K, which is around the same price point of this monitor, it's pretty much night and day. The design concept is almost the same with it having a rectangular base and a circular stand that you can raise. Although on the BenQ, you can rotate it on the LG Ultrafine, you can't. Uh, but on the BenQ, you can clearly see that it's made of metal and for a monitor, it doesn't really matter as much because it's not something you're gonna be holding all the time, but I definitely feel like we shouldn't be getting a completely plastic monitor when paying over $1,000. So good job to BenQ for bringing that premium design to match the premium price point. As far as port selection goes, you've got two USB-C Thunderbolt 3 ports, two HDMI 2.0 ports, a DisplayPort 1.4 input, three USB-A 3.1 Gen 2 ports, a USB Type-B 3.1 Gen 2 port, and two 3.5 millimeter ports for headphones or speakers, one on the back and then one on the side. For me, that port versatility is pretty important. I can easily hook up my USB 3 hub, speakers, keyboard, and mouse and dongles, and the list goes on. And of course, having that Thunderbolt connectivity, you can easily daisy chain these bad boys. And in addition to that, the monitor supports power delivery up to 65 watts with the USB Type-C port. The monitor comes with a really cool accessory for quickly switching between different workflow presets and generally controlling the monitor. And this is called the Hockey Puck G2. It's actually really nice to use with the monitor. And I think it's odd that it uses a mini USB port to connect. I think USB-C would have been very simple, but it doesn't bother me by any means. Given that this monitor is made for creatives and pro designers, there's a bunch of different color modes to choose from in the settings menu, from DCI P3 to darkroom presets. It's got a custom preset for almost every visual workflow scenario. And for those of you who might be sensitive to blue light, there's features baked into the settings to make adjustments to that as well. There's even a dual view setting that will split two different color modes of your choice on the display. And this is a super useful feature for people who are handling multiple workflows at once. As far as my personal usage goes, like I said, I really like this display. I'm coming from a 35 inch curved ultra wide from BenQ that I also really liked, but this display is definitely a few steps ahead. It's tack sharp, it's very bright and colors just pop. And they're also very accurate and that's all due to the fact that every one of these is color calibrated out of the box. So overall, this is probably the best display for my personal workflow. Like I said, it's got a great design, a fantastic image, and is a really great monitor to use with Macs. And I'd highly recommend it for video editors, creative professionals, and general content and visual creators alike. But that's gonna be about it for this video. There will be a link in the description where you can check this guy out if you're interested. But thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.